turn your side hustle into a money-making machine. Insider Tips Revealed Did you know that more than 50% of millennials have a side hustle? That's right. In this era of opportunities, people are not just relying on their 9-to-5 jobs. They are turning their passions, their hobbies, their side hustles into substantial income streams. But what if we told you that your side hustle has the potential to be more than just an extra income? That it could become your main source of income, your full-time job, your own business. The importance of a side hustle. With job security becoming a thing of the past, having a side hustle gives you a sense of security. It's a backup plan, a plan B, a safety net. It's knowing that if things go south, you have something to fall back on. In 2024, the gig economy is booming, and there's never been a better time to take your side hustle to the next level. Identifying your side hustle. So if you're convinced about the importance of a side hustle, you're ready to hustle, but there's one question lingering in your mind. What should my side hustle be? Don't worry, you're not alone. Identifying the right side hustle is often the most challenging part. First of all, keep in mind that your side hustle doesn't have to be something grand or revolutionary. It doesn't have to be the next Uber or Airbnb. It just needs to be something you're passionate about and something people are willing to pay for. Simple, right? Start with introspection. What are your skills? What are your interests? What do you love doing in your free time? For instance, if you love baking and your friends can't stop raving about your cookies, why not start a home-based bakery? Or if you're a fitness enthusiast, how about starting a personal training service? Apart from just passion, it's about market demand. Is there a market for your product or service? Who are your potential customers? What are they looking for? These are some questions you need to consider. For example, if you're thinking about starting a graphic design service, research the market. Are businesses looking for freelance graphic designers? What kind of design work is in demand? Meet Sarah, a full-time teacher with a passion for photography. She started taking photos of her travels and sharing them on social media. Soon she started getting requests from friends and family to take their photos. Seeing the demand, she started a side hustle as a freelance photographer. And today, she's making a substantial income from her side hustle, all while doing something she loves. Transforming your side hustle into a business. Once you've identified your side hustle, it's time to think big. Yes, you're passionate about it, and there's a whole market for it. But how do you take it to the next level? How do you transform this side gig into a full-fledged business? Well, transitioning from a side hustle into a business requires a shift in mindset. You're no longer just a hobbyist or a freelancer. You're an entrepreneur. You're the CEO of your own company. This shift in mindset is crucial as it will guide your decisions and actions moving forward. Now, a side hustle might start as an informal venture, but a business requires structure and strong strategy. This is where a business plan comes in. A business plan outlines your business goals, target market, competition, marketing strategy, and financial projections. It's a living document that guides your business decisions and helps you stay focused and on track. Like we said, understanding your market is crucial and it becomes even more crucial when transforming your side hustle into a business. There will be more questions. Who are your customers? What are their needs and preferences? Who are your competitors? What are they offering? And how can you differentiate yourself? Market research will help you answer these questions and position your business effectively. Meet Alex, who started a side hustle selling handmade candles. When she decided to turn it into a business, she conducted market research. She found out that her customers were mostly millennials who valued eco-friendly products. So she decided to differentiate her business by using only natural, sustainable materials in her candles. 
This unique selling proposition helped her stand out in the market and attract more customers. Financial planning is another crucial aspect. Running a business involves various costs, raw materials, packaging, shipping, marketing, taxes, and so on. It's very important to plan your finances carefully to ensure profitability. Now you're ready to transform your side hustle into a business. But how do you boost it? Don't go anywhere as we've got some insider tips coming up. Tip number one, networking and building relationships. It's a truth that no one achieves success in a vacuum. The relationships you build can be the defining factor in the success of your side hustle. People can sense insecurity from a mile away. So when you're networking, be genuine. Show interest in the other person. Listen to their stories and engage in meaningful conversations. Networking is not just about what you can get from others, but also about what you can offer. Also try attending events, whether it's a local meetup, an industry conference, or an online webinar. Events are a great place to network. You can learn from industry experts, meet potential collaborators, and even find your first customers. And networking doesn't end when the event is over or the conversation ends. Follow up with the people you meet. Send them a thank you note, connect with them on social media, or schedule a coffee chat. Yes, building a relationship takes time and effort. So make sure to invest in it. Tip number two, social media and online marketing. Let's be honest, in 2024, if your business isn't on social media, it's like it doesn't exist. So let's talk about how you can leverage social media and online marketing to boost your side hustle. First, choose the right platform. Not all social media platforms are created equal. Each platform has its own demographics and culture. Like if your side hustle involves graphic design or photography, Instagram might be a great platform for you. If you're offering professional services like consulting or freelance writing, LinkedIn could be your next bet. Next, create engaging content. Believe it or not, content is king in the world of social media. You have to create posts that are interesting, relevant, and valuable to your audience. Use high quality images, compelling captions, and hashtags to increase your reach. Try engaging with your audience by responding to comments, asking questions, and showing appreciation for your followers. While doing this, don't forget about online marketing. This includes SEO, email marketing, content marketing, and more. All these strategies can help you reach a larger audience, drive more traffic to your website, and ultimately increase sales. You can also try ads to reach more people. Yes, organic reach is great, but sometimes you need a little boost. That's where ads come in. Platforms like Facebook and Instagram offer targeted advertising options that can help you reach more people who are likely to be interested in your side hustle. Let's take an example of Mike. Mike is a freelance web developer who uses Fiverr to find clients. He also uses social media to showcase his portfolio share client testimonials, and offer valuable tips on web development. He also has a website where he blogs about web development trends and best practices. This not only helps him establish authority in his field, but also improves his website's SEO, making it easier for potential clients to find him. Moving on, tip number three, customer service and building a loyal customer base. In a world where customers have endless options at their fingertips, providing excellent customer service can really set you apart from the competition. To provide an excellent customer service, be responsive, be empathetic, solve problems effectively, and try asking for feedback. To build a loyal customer base, provide value, build relationships, and exceed their expectations. For a better understanding, let's take an example like we did throughout our video. Meet Emily, a freelance writer on Upwork. She provides excellent customer service by being responsive, understanding her clients' needs and delivering high quality work. She also builds relationships with her clients by regularly checking in with them, asking for feedback and thanking them for their business. 
As a result, she has a loyal client base who not only gives her regular work, but also refers her to other potential clients. Well, that's it for today. From identifying your side hustle to insider tips on boosting it. So what's your side hustle? What challenges are you facing? Do you have any tips to share? Drop your comments below. Before you go, don't forget to check out our recent video on eight money management tips every freelancer needs. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.